Hello and welcome to the C-Sharp Web API Preview coming to you in Parbler 2018. If we select New from the Parbler IDE toolbar, you'll see that we've added a new C-Sharp Web API target. Selecting that particular target allows us to build an ASP.NET Core web application. We're going to change the application name here to PBSharp. You can see here the project being created. And there you have a new target. The Parbler IDE has actually written for us a new C Sharp application, a web service that's going to be deployed to IIS. You'll notice here if I double click the C Sharp code that's been generated, we've also brought you the actual C Sharp editor right inside the Parbler IDE. If we scroll down through, you'll see if I move the mouse around that IntelliSense is here as well, just like you would find in other C Sharp editors. So let's go about converting some of our Parbler objects. For example, the data window D employee. I'd like to be able to use that here in my C Sharp Web API. I'm going to use the right hand mouse button here and generate a model of that data window object. You notice now if we expand the target, we'll see that there's a model folder. Inside of that is employee C Sharp, which actually defines the data window itself. You'll also notice that building this target, the Parbler IDE is also written for us an employee controller C Sharp code that we need to modify in order to use the C Sharp data window. And notice what we need to do now is very similar to Parbler. We need to instantiate a data store. So we do that by using the declaration, data store DS, and then we do a new data store. We're also going to pass into it the data window object that we'd like to instantiate in the constructor event at the same time. Then we have a set context command, which is very similar to the set trans object inside of the native Parbler IDE. And then you can see here, we just use standard data window data store commands like retrieve. Or for example, if I type in DS, and you can see here, one of the other commands we use in Parbler set sort. And I can actually then use IntelliSense to actually complete the actual coding, just like I would in the auto script within the Parbler IDE. So what I'm going to do now, is we'll do a full build. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see here that in the output area, the build has succeeded. So let's go ahead now and run the actual Parbuilder 2017 R2 client. This is a native Parbuilder application. As you can see here, it's calling the actual IIS instance, webapiappion.com. And when it does that, it's actually calling a Parbuilder RESTful web service. We're actually going to go in now to the RESTful uh, client native Parbler application. We're going to change this to localhost and we're going to change the actual instance of that within IIS to PB Sharp. And now we're going to execute the actual C Sharp Web API object that was deployed to IIS. Pressing the call Web API button, we can see here that we're actually calling that particular object. It's instantiating the data store, returning at this point a JSON result set. That JSON result set from the middle tier was then populated here by the client and into the data window primary buffer. 